Hi everyone. One of my most favorite Christmas specials is Santa Claus has come to town. And since I was a little kid, I've been obsessed with this, this truck. And I've always wanted one in HO and of course they don't make it. So about a year ago, I bought this Woodland Scenics uh, cast metal kit. It's a diamond T truck, like a little crane in the back or whatever. And I just never got around to doing anything with it. And I finally thought, you know what? I'm going to try this year to get this thing built. Now, I won't be using a bunch of pieces from it, like the back, the uh, front frame, the motor, the uh, crane piece, the back axle, the wheels, and all that. But what I will be using, let me pan out here, from the kit is we have the steering wheel. You have to cut the flashing off. The little brake lever that goes inside the cab. The radiator with headlights. I'll have to cut the headlights off and remount those. Uh, I'm gonna use the frame, but I'm gonna cut this back here. And I'll cut it here, make it really small. And of course we have the main body right here. And uh, I'll cut off these little front pieces. We don't need that. And then the window frame for the dashboard. We'll cut the window frame off. Just use the dashboard. And it mounts in here. Uh, here's the cab roof. Which mounts right on there. And doing a lousy job showing this. But anyways, you get the idea. And then I'm going to modify this one. I cut the running boards off. You know, from here over. And then I'm going to uh, see if I can't. Sorry, I'm trying to hold the camera and do two things here. Come in here like with a, with a Dremel shave just in between the fender. So it's still somewhat attached, but not much. Because I've got to bend this fender way up and down to get the uh, curve you see there. And I might reuse the running boards I'm going to cut off to make little smaller ones. And then the back tread, I'm going to have to kit bash. And, or scratch build, I mean. I found these uh, pulleys. So if I file down those little bumps on them, that could be the main wheels on the track. And then I found these little, I got a bunch of these little headlights. These could be the little smaller pulleys inside the track and I'll mount it all like a, a block of styrene and I'll probably make the track like out of uh, some really thin plastic I can bend and just glue little teeny little cleats on it so first things let's get this uh, cut down and we'll cut this piece off and cut the uh, window frame out all right, first thing I'm going to do is cut the window frame off the dash, because that'll be the easiest thing. Right, broke nice and easy. Let's see, turn it over. There. And that's cleared off. Then on the frame. Whoops. We'll trim that. Keep taking out a frame, I'm sorry. And cut that. And then we'll cut right across here. We'll leave this piece on for now because that might just go in the bottom of this, make it easier to attach. All right. And then we need to cut off these guys in the front. Only about this stuff, it cuts easy. There. Now 
the real fun part. Cutting the running boards off. Let's see if that will it. There we go. Right there. And then we'll cut it right, hopefully square. So we got that gone. And oh, came right off. Stuff seems a little brittle, but oops. All right, so we got that. And then I'll have to break out the Dremel to try, like I said, to clean out behind the fender. Because you saw in the picture, it's really curved. To me, leave some material right about here. Assuming it'll hold. If not, I'll have to come up with some idea. And assuming I can bend this metal, it may be so brittle, I might have to actually uh, make new fenders on very thin plastic. But for now, I want to... Just get some more stuff trimmed. Let me trim the... It's like chaos, isn't it? Okay, trim. There we go, the steering wheel. All right, now I wanna uh, glue a few pieces in place. Okay, so I got, uh, I cut the headlights off the grill and glued that on. And I glued the dashboard in. And I've been just using uh, Gorilla Super Glue for that. And I've been working on, I filed these a little smoother, the two sections, because these are going to be glued together to give us the length of the frame. And I've been filing, I decided not to use a Dremel, so I have more control. I'm using this little square file. Oops, if you can't focus. Getting rid, you know, remember there's a lot of material that came from here over to here and the back side. I think I'm going to take down to here, like half of this is going to be removed just to open it up. And I don't know how much I'm going to be able to bend this down, maybe I'm slightly, but this stuff's kind of brittle, so I may not have an exact replica of this vehicle, but we're going to be close enough. And I ran to the tr um. Let me pan out a little bit. Model train shop. And I found this. Walter's Master. Or Scene Master. These are like bags of flour cement. But I thought. I could take these off and use these as the mail bags. In the back. Of the uh, vehicle. So that's cool. And then I picked up. Uh, some very small styrene pieces. So I'm going to make like a plastic. Tre uh, tread. And I'll use this for the the lugs or the cleats on the tread. Just cut little teeny pieces off. So parts are all coming together. Just going to keep uh, working on this front part and then gluing pieces together. I'm gonna. I don't think I'm going to glue the cab onto the main body until after I paint the stuff. Just so. I can paint the interiors like, you know, like a brown leather cushion, a little bit of dashboard. I still got to install the steering wheel, too, and the brake lever. But, uh, yeah, it's coming together. All right, this will probably end uh, part one. And uh, I'll see you at part two.